Your court television news starting now. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to a special episode, I guess you could call it, of a Sunday night edition of the NJ Courts TV Presents. Remember, this is actually kind of more of a NJ Courts TV Presents night. Uh, we're going to, I'd call it more of a uh, uh, <laughs> ski flicks and chill type of night, all right? Um, we're pretty much just going to hang out, shoot the shit. But while we're doing that, um, we're going to be listening to some some pretty explicit videos. Um, and I hate to start it that way, as a matter of fact. But, hey, why why bullshit, right? Let's just get to the point. Um, as a matter of fact, a lot of the videos that we're going to be going over this evening are actually videos a lot of you may never even seen or heard of. <laughs> uh, sadly to say, these come from a vault. Uh, a vault that has been pretty much stocked full of these threats since this channel has started. Uh, as a matter of fact, like I've said before, there's probably into the hundreds of these threats that just tonight alone is probably 5%, if you can even call it that, of the threats uh, that have been essentially clipped and stored uh, from this individual. And if some of you still don't know who I may be talking about, that would be AKA Ski Mask Andy, also known as David Deku. Um, anyways. Uh, this individual, since pretty much the inception of this channel, has 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 made a just an array of, of different threats. I mean, not only to myself, of course. Uh, we've played plenty of clips and videos of threats made to other creators, um, ex mods, ex viewers, um, children, even animals. Okay, and I'm not even kidding you. All right, you can find that clip as a matter of fact on the NJ Courts TV clip channel. If you're curious and want to go down that rabbit hole, it's literally a clip titled like the worst threats of Ski Mask Andy. Um, and I would have to say up until maybe just a few days ago, those probably would still be standing as the worst threats. Uh, I would have to say not necessarily a threat, but just the worst reaction I've seen from this individual, like essentially, I guess, a rant like a baby fit. Uh, would have been the screaming, uh, the screaming episode. Uh, we listened to that not too long ago, and uh, you guys can find that clip again. That's on the NJ Courts TV clip channel. Um, that's another clip that just came out recently, and that's of the uh, Ski Mask Andy episode where he went off on a 15 minute just, just baby fit. I mean, it literally sounds like a five year old throwing a tantrum. Um, and so if you're curious to listen to that clip, you can also find that on the NJ Courts TV clip channel. But uh, what you're going to be listening tonight is just going to be, like I said, a smidget of the amount of threats that this individual has done personally to me. Uh, the reason I want you all to listen to this is because, as I said yesterday, when I uh, maybe you didn't even show up yesterday, which is OK. All right. I'll, apologies accepted. It was Saturday night. But no, I'm just kidding. But uh, no, I think most of y'all in here were here, as a matter of fact, last night. And you were here for the special announcement, which pretty much included uh, that this channel will be attending the July 31st court hearing of Ski Mask Andy. We're going to continue our court coverage as we began uh, with the first time that we visited Tulsa, Oklahoma, the courthouse for the Ski Mask Andy court coverage. Um, so we will be in attendance there for that court hearing on July 31st. Uh, but prior to that hearing, the other announcement that I made will be that because of the recent threats, I mean, in addition to the past threats, but definitely because of the recent threats, and some of those we are going to listen to this evening. Um, and, and the reason I say some of you may not have heard these is because if you're familiar with the way Ski Mask Andy works is once he goes on a rant or he says something that obviously knows is against TOS, which... I, at this point, does not matter because this individual, the minute they even start one of their channels, they're already breaking TOS. They're ban evading. They've already been terminated by YouTube as a individual that is not allowed to have any channels on their platform, period. This even came out of Ski Mask's own mouth. So we've heard it from me. We've heard it from him. It's been verified by a lot of other sources. So the minute he even cranks one of his shows on, He's already breaking TOS, all right? But this individual just recently has made some very, very serious threats, not only to myself, but to my family. 
And again, where I was going with this is the day or two days prior to the hearing, essentially, I think the hearing's on Monday, so it would be the Friday or Saturday of, um, I will be going down to the Tulsa County Sheriff's Department, as well as the district attorney's office, the one that's in charge of essentially the probation that he was supposed to attend that he didn't. Uh, essentially, that's what got him into the trouble that he in, he's in right now. Uh, I will be going there to present these threats that essentially have been recorded and clipped. And I will be making um, a criminal complaint uh, against Ski Mask for the threats that he's made towards me and my family. Uh, from what goes on past that point will be up to the Tulsa County Sheriff's Department, as well as the district attorney's office. So I can't speak up as to that point. All I can do is just tell you what I'm doing, or excuse me, I can speak of as to what I will be doing up to that point. But after that, you know, like I've always said, not a fortune teller, and I can't speak on behalf for those two departments, but uh, I will definitely keep you guys updated as far as what goes on from that. Um, aside from that, uh, we will be there Monday. Uh, let's just check the court calendar really quick. Oh my gosh, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Moved it. I was like, I just had it last night. How could this big old piece of paper just disappear? <laughs> but let's see here. All right, this is easier for you guys to see this way instead of me sitting down. But Let's see here. This is going to be July right here. Oh, oops, sorry. Wrong. All right. We, you get the point, July. <laughs> All right. And if we go to the 31st, we have a brown box, which, which we all selected. Brown for Ski Mask Andy. And we've got that as 9 a.m., room 173. So that is a Monday. So we will be there probably starting from either Thursday or Friday through the weekend, up until the court hearing on Monday. And as I was standing up, I think I just saw a new member. Hold on, let me scroll up. Ah, uh, yes, Miss Texas. Oh, welcome. Miss Texas has just joined up as a new member of the jury. And Miss Texas, as always, I will welcome you the traditional way to the members of the jury with a slam of the gavel. Miss Texas, welcome to the jury. <laughs> And thank you so much for your support. All right. So let's go down here. Uh, again, I want to say hi to everybody. I know I've kind of started just straight with what we're going to be looking at and a little bit of summary of what I went over last night. But uh, uh, let me say hi to everybody. I, how, how, how rude of me. Uh, looks like we already got about 130 people in chat. So welcome. Welcome, welcome. As you can see, I actually went back to the uh, the my traditions here. I'm wearing the official, the original Ski Mask Andy prop hat, okay? Can't even, I can't even remember the date that this officially came out or uh, what, what's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, man, uh, too many brain farts, man. I got to work on that. Anyways, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But anyways, uh, the date it was featured. There we go. That's the word I was thinking. Featured. Okay. It's featured on a live stream here. I don't even know if it was like a parody performance or anything like that. But either way, this is the original Ski Mask Andy prop app you're looking at. <gasps> what? Did somebody rip my tag off? No. I used to keep the original tag. That's how it had its OG Ski Mask look. Well, it looks like we had a hater here come rip that off. The talk to mom or papa courts about that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so anyways, that, that is what I'm wearing, just in case you're asking. So let me just start off by saying welcome, everybody. Welcome, members of the jury. Welcome to all my mods. And thank you for doing a fantastic job, as always. Um, we're going to have, like I said, a pretty just chill night tonight. Like I said, I call it a... Um, uh, uh, what is <laughs> uh, 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 a ski lax and chill night, right? Like Netflix and chill. Ski licks. Wait. Netflix, ski flicks. There we go. So we're going to have a ski flicks and chill night, but not to be taken lightly. Remember that. I, again, I will give you guys a warning right now. The videos that we're going to be listening to are very explicit. Um, you know, most of you that have hung in here since, you know, we started listening to Ski Mask Andy or covering them, you're pretty much aware and familiar with what type of language and just the way these videos go. All right. Um, we're going to break them up a little bit because, I mean, you can only listen to so much of the same shit and same threats, but they are different threats. Um, they were done different days. As a matter of fact, uh, there was a lot, pretty, some pretty bad shit said yesterday while I was on live stream. 
Uh, fortunately, and thank you for those who were looking out while I was on live stream, uh, there was some people that do support this channel. Let's just put it that way. Uh, that were recording uh, pretty much the whole live stream going on with Ski Mask Andy as he was making these very serious threats towards me and my family. Uh, we're going to be playing some of those. Uh, like I said, I, I'm not going to have you sit here and listen to an hour of, of a man baby crying and making threats. Most of you have already heard it. But uh, we, we do got some clips of, you know, some of the times where it gets pretty bad. Uh, so we're going to listen to some of those. Um, Mary J has interview mama and Papa courts. Hey, I'll ask him about that. I know we've discussed a interview with possibly Papa courts. So good question. I will bring that up to them. Miss Texas. Thank you so much. Miss Texas with a $5 super chat. And that reads, hope they put his sorry arse under jail. I think I know what you're meaning. And that's very nice of you not to use the word in chat, but you know what? I'll say it for you. I hope they put his sorry ass in jail. Me too. All right, Miss Texas. And thank you so much for that support. As a matter of fact, Miss Texas with the $5 super chat to get us started off for the night. Thank you, Miss Texas. <laughs> Snurt with the get Papa courts to wear a ski mask or a baklava. <laughs> Cheers to that, Snurt. And hey, remember, I had a big, remember last night, I could not enjoy an adult beverage with y'all. And I apologize. Remember, I had a big day today and I'm pretty exhausted, but I'm, I was done for the day doing the chores, had nothing else going on. And like I said, actually, I forgot to even play a few of these clips last night. That's how just fun and distracted I had with you guys. All right. You guys crab danced me the hell out. I was exhausted. Uh, let's just put it this way. It has been a long time since I have had a little bit of sleep, like real sleep, like actually where I was just out. I mean, granted, I... There's been nights where I'm, I'm sure stick saw me a little passed out. That may have to do with a little bit of alcohol, okay? But I'm talking like real sleep, okay? Um, I got some last night, okay? Let's just put it that way. Thank you, guys. That was to all that crab dancing, all right? But I got another big day tomorrow. It's Monday. Yes, I know. But uh, some of us do have to work on Monday, so. <laughs> but I am going to enjoy a 7-Up with y'all tonight. So cheers to that, Snurt, all right? Crack this open. Ah, I love that pop. That pop of some fresh 7-Up. Okay. Got to tell myself not to drink too much or you're going to have a big old... All right. So let's get this, this show started, as they say. Um, I am going to break up some of these clips with some, you know, some fun stuff. Just because, like I said, you can only take so much of the negativity. But uh, where shall we start? Man, I got so much stuff here. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. Ah, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. I want to clarify something immediately here. Let's let's start with a a, a rumor clarification, shall we? Uh, I wish I, I need a name for this kind of segment. So somebody in chat can help me with this. Uh, that would be much appreciated. Name for this segment, okay? Pretty much this segment's going to be where we where we debunk or we verify a ski mask rumor, okay? Tonight, we are going to debunk, not verify. Uh, well, I, I guess you could call it a hybrid. We're going to do a little bit of a verify slash debunk. Let's call it that, okay? So, I don't even know when this started. I guess you could say since he uh, allegedly graduated from school. Uh, but Ski Mask has, for the longest time, has 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 started this rumor. And I call it a rumor because it is one. Um, he thinks it's the truth. But tonight we're going to debunk it, my friends. All right. And remember, on this show, we always debunk stuff with facts. And when I say facts, most of the time it's straight paperwork. All right. And lo and behold, that is what I had this evening. And we are going to debunk something here. Just like, remember, we did the Grinder episode where we debunked that that was that was actually a whole episode. This is just a little segment as part of this episode. But uh, for some of you that missed it, we actually did a whole episode where we debunked. We did well. No, we verified actually because there was more people that actually knew it to be true than actually thought it was a rumor. So we actually verified that evening that Ski Mask Andy one has had a grinder account, still may have an active one. And two, has had past relationships with known transvestites. And that was it. 
that's all really we were doing. We weren't trying to, you know, I know a lot of people from his chat were trying to claim and, oh, this was a way to embarrass him. No, not at all. Not at all. This was just a way to essentially verify or for some people debunk some facts that had came out of his own mouth. And we certainly did. I mean, I would say with the amount of evidence that we presented that evening, you can certainly say we verify the fact that Ski Mask Andy has definitely been part of the Grinder community. Um, moving on, uh, the next thing that I want to essentially, well, this is going to be a debunk, okay? Because I think a lot of people actually believe this rumor. Ski Mask has gone for the longest time telling people that he has a bachelor's degree. You've heard that right, bachelor's with a B. Bachelor's degree in communications, all right? The reason I believe he says that is he wants to kind of back up the fact that he considers himself like a real professional in this YouTube world that he's created, the ski verse that he calls it, right? Yeah, all right, that's just all part of the act. That's just part of the con. As a matter of fact, Ski Mask, I will tell you this, I because I know you're watching. Uh, I, I, will give you, I, I will give you some credit, and, and it is due. You, you did take some higher education learning, and, and that's great. I commend people that do that. As a matter of fact, I personally have never got I've, – I've started higher education learning, but I've never graduated with actually a degree, okay? Now, Ski Mask has gone this far to tell people he has a bachelor's degree in communications. The reason I think he says that is, one, he wants to back up the fact that he's a professional in this – what he considers a, a profession that, you know, somebody has a degree in communications would do. Uh, you know, it makes him sound like he's smarter, uh, which if you've seen the way that boy punctuates his stuff, and, and there's a reason why. We're going to debunk that. It is actually very untrue. Ski Mask, as a matter of fact, does not have a bachelor's degree in communications. He does have a degree of some sort. It is an associate's degree. As a matter of fact, it's an associate's degree in general studies. Many of you have heard me say this before. But, and I've had a video to back this up, except... This was done woo, back in the days. I mean, this was back when I think this channel had less than 100 subscribers, all right, uh, when we were just originally a clip channel only. So I'm going to bring back some of that paperwork for some of the new viewers um, that have not seen this. Um, so let's actually just debunk this rumor right now. So we'll start the episode or tonight with that. Let's get that out of the way. Let's add this to the stream. Oh, that's some other stuff we're going to go over here. I always do that. I always give up the surprise. I got to work on that. Here we go. <laughs> it's not much of a surprise anyways. All right. So I want you all to take a look at from the top. This reads UAFS Fall and Summer 2 2016 graduates listed. This stands for University of Arkansas. Or what is it? Um, somebody in chat help me if you, if you don't know what. Oh, wait. It's right there. <laughs> uh, let me just read it. The University of Arkansas Fort Smith has released the list of students receiving degrees and certificates during the fall 2016 semester and the second summer term ending in August. Okay, so that was the top part. Now, where did I find this? You can actually find this yourself if you want to actually verify this document. If you literally just type in Google search David Deco, first and last name, and this is public information. Um, and then just type in just what you see there. UAFS Fall and Summer 2016 graduates listed. Okay. You type in David's first name, David Deco, and you type in that. You're going to find this same document that I'm reading here. Okay. Let's jump over. Super Roofer says Fort Smith about an hour from there. All right. So you're probably very familiar with the campus, Super Roofer. So. Let me just jump over here a little further. And it's going to show us everybody here. Well, actually, I had to do it. I, there was few, quite a bit of people. Uh, you know, I had to go to the paragraph that had obviously Ski Mask's name on. All right, here we go. So if you go down towards the bottom where it says Roland, Oklahoma, and you go to the far right, it will say David Deco. And if you notice right next to him, it's going to, so the way they separate everybody in their degree or certificate is by the, um, what do you call that? Oh man, my uh, English teacher is going to kill me. What is it? Uh, nah, not a high, uh, 
you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm gonna sound like a like I'm a total idiot here, but. Anyways, you can see what I'm I'm talking about here. We're simply just saying it's it's not separated by the comma is what I'm saying. So if you've noticed, obviously David Deco doesn't have a degree in business administration. So notice the cop, you know, what separates that and him. All right. So start David Deco, read toward the right. You see the uh, comma after Deco, and then you see A G S. Thank you, Acid Face. Semicolon, Acid Face for the save. Curvaceous for the save. John Jacobs with the save. Thank you, guys. <laughs> so thank you, Mids Plug. You got it. Associates in general studies. So I think we can officially say, and too bad, because I wouldn't say this deserves a, a, a slam of the gavel. This would be more of like a, a honk of the horn. So I'll just give the sound effect. I think we can say this. Rumor has officially been debunked. Wah, wah. Uh, that sucked, but close enough. <laughs> Rumor rinse out segment. Hey, I like that country tapestry. There you go. <laughs> oh, geez. So, who said that? <laughs> oh, who had the question about Blades Home? <laughs> and I don't know. I cannot answer that for you. But it was a funny one. All right. So with that being said, We've already opened up the show with a, a breaking of the rumor, okay? Um, let's see here. So let's start off just getting right into some of these threats, shall we? So um, I'm trying to figure out. Well, let's just start off with some fresh ones here, okay? Then we'll kind of work our way back. So yesterday, as this channel was live, uh, Ski Mask Andy was also doing a live stream show. And I guess because he was must have been listening or I don't know if he has some of his mods just texting him, but whatever. He received word or wind of word that there was some donations going on. As a matter of fact, an awesome dono train. And thank you so much for everybody that participated in that yesterday. That was so awesome. But uh, yeah, it pissed him off. I don't know why. I have no idea why. You know, uh, well, we know the guy is just a greedy narcissist, but again. We don't work together, right? This isn't a coexisting company. Like, you know, I just took some profits from him or anything like that. We're complete separate individuals, separate channels. As a matter of fact, this individual's not even supposed to be on YouTube, okay? This channel's a member of the YouTube partnership program. So I have nothing to do with the Ski Mask Andy channel. That, as a matter of fact, is an illegal channel, according to YouTube TOS, okay? So, again, I have no clue why what this channel makes as far as donations has to do with Ski Mask you know, what this channel has planned as far as, you know, it's itinerary has to do with Ski Mask and his calendar has no clue. And he does this not only to this channel, but to many other channels. Pretty much, if you mention his name, he is counting your pockets, as they say, okay? It, it, it just blows my mind. And most of the times, he's got it wrong, okay? The dude obviously overinflates it. He does that just to make it more you know, exaggerate his, his stories. Uh, I think he also thinks it's going to make his chat think, oh, NJ Quartz just made $600 tonight. Oh, shoot, we better send that over to Ski Mask now. Uh, and it doesn't work, okay? And 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 most of the time, those are way, way blown. You guys know. You guys are in chat. You see the donation. So you know we this channel did not make $600 yesterday, all right? Now, we made a good amount of money. Thank you. And that money's going right back into this channel. As a matter of fact, it's going to be pretty much going to support the trip that's going to be coming up on the 31st. But it was not $600. And Ski Mask knows that, okay? Uh, again, he just does this one to just hype up his his thumbnail or his, his title because uh, he thinks it's going to bait people in. And if you've noticed some of these crazy thumbnails he's put out there. I mean, this boy is desperate. And, uh, I mean, it's just gotten so ridiculous. Nobody even falls for him anymore. It's just stupid. But, anywho, uh, while we were live yesterday, Ski Mask decided to have, pretty much have a, a go on a rant, okay? So, uh, we're going to be, no, Natty Like King, Nanjay Courts, you soon Jimmy the Hobo. No, I don't know where that came from, but I can clarify that right now. Absolutely not. I have nothing to do with Jimmy the Hobo. As a matter of fact, we already finished that small coverage. Uh, we verified that he didn't have any courts, any court dates coming up. So we have moved on. Um, so we're going to start off by pretty much playing a series of four clips uh, from yesterday. Be patient. I mean, obviously, you guys are probably going to want to listen to this. It's toxic. 
It's nasty. It's vile. I'm, I'm giving you a forewarning. But uh, it is important, okay? I, I want you to realize who this individual is and the type of threats he makes. Because like I've said before, what he thinks he does and he thinks he's smart about it is as soon as he finishes with this, he goes and deletes the video, all right? Well, uh, it doesn't work out, obviously, because not only are there people that, you know, clip and, and assist this channel with providing these clips to this channel, but there's plenty of other anti-scheme ask Andy, you know, clip channels that, and I say anti because... All they're doing really is just playing his clips back. And because the guy is so toxic and vile, he's his own clips are the one that makes him look like a piece of shit on the internet. Nobody else. It's him. So without further ado, let's just start off with the first clip. And then I'm going to just play him on through. Uh, once we get through with about three or four of them, uh, we're going to definitely have a little like palate cleanser, like I like to say. I got a pretty fun and short clip I'm going to show you. And then we're going to keep going forth with a lot of the other threats. Um, I've got a lot of other stuff I want to expose. Uh, we are going to be going over since Schemas decided he want to bring up families. One, I'm not going to be doxing anything, so don't worry. I'm, we don't go down to that level on this channel. But we are going to be discussing, again, for some of you that may be new to this individual, uh, what Schemas exactly did the date of the incident from his last pretty much assault and battery, which happened to his brother and mother. Okay. So we're going to be going over that paperwork because that's another document that scheme ass claims pretty much is bullshit. Even though this is an official, you know, I, I believe this came from the Tulsa Sheriff's department, you know, piece of paperwork. So we're going to go over that as well. We've got the clips. Uh, we've got a few fun clips and yeah, um, that, that, that's pretty much the itinerary for tonight. Oh, and ah, I almost forgot, I've got a very, very good compilation of another interesting uh, member of the ski verse. We'll just call it at that. And uh, you don't want to miss this. I have a feeling most of these clips have been actually deleted. Uh, and this individual is probably going to be, well, who knows? If I was them, I'd be extremely embarrassed. But uh, they are a narcissist. So this might, you know, negative or positive, they don't give a shit. They get high off the point that they see themselves. So. Uh, who knows how they're going to react to it. I don't personally care. What I care about is the fact that you guys are able to see this individual and the way they act, especially when they're under the influence, okay, which seems to be all the time. So, yes, we will be uh, going over some clips about that person, but uh, let's just get right into it. Enough of me. I will shut right up. I promise. Here we go. So, again, this was from last night. Hello, everybody. Oh, I got this loser at the, what you call it, too. Oopsie. Let me do that. Mama got back. And look at that pancake. It's flat. Oh, da -da 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 -da. my attention is valuable. And if it wasn't, none of y'all would know me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. People are having too much fun. People are having too much fun over there, too. I've noticed something. I know some people over there. They're on. They think they're slick. I think they're uh, under alts, which is fine. But I don't know why people. Probably because they know that I wouldn't like them as much or if at all. That's fine. All right, I'm gonna just let this loser win. Now I'm bummed out. <laughs> Sucks. Uh, apparently, Twitter is streaming the sound of freedom. Voter, apparently, I have 24 viewers at 11.46 p.m. on a Saturday night. Fortunately, I like three of them, the all three that are in chat. Oh, 
that sounds unappealing. Let's talk about something else. I can't, I can't move that. I excommunicated him. I run shit. He got so damn upset that I kicked him out of the ski verse. He came live and had to do about me. You're still kicked out. Nice try. I run shit. You're kicked out. You're kicked out and you're a dead topic. And nobody ever was really interested in you to begin with. You heard Ale Alexandra. She pretty much summed up the opinion of all of those involved. All right. Pepperoni nips need to get a life. Like, I'm, I'm that polarizing and magnetizing, I guess. Like, how are you so transfixed three years later? You never met me. I haven't talked to you in two and a half years. I don't follow politics. New Mexico, the state, I don't follow politics. Look at yeah, this bitch. Is, what is she talking about with her weird ass? When, didn't she say I had like federal something or others? Get the fuck out of here. You're kicked out the video. You've been excommunicated. You're still fat. I mean, all things considered, you're going to die before me and you're going to look as ugly as you look right now or even worse as you live out the rest of your days. You're still fat and ugly. You're still bald and you still put your mom on cam. Look at her back there. Look at her back there. Da, 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 da. Hey, shout out to Angelina. My mom is sexy. <laughs> Why do you care about him so much? What? This guy. We're over it. I got him. He's riled up, ain't he? Well, mission accomplished. I'm going to chill and listen to some music. And now that I got my puppet, my little dancing monkey over there, all wound up. I gave him an dude. If it wasn't for me, he would have no excuse to keep living. Quite honestly, golly, you have no social life without Ski Mask Andy. You're a loser, literally. If I quit YouTube tomorrow, you'd probably kill yourself. That dude's a weirdo, man. Here we go. You need to be more appreciative. You need to give me more money because you do give me money. Weez, you never went nowhere. That was effortless. That was effortless. Da -da. Idea. His parents don't know what he's doing, so yeah, let him go ahead and talk all the cop shit he wants. I ain't never been scared of the cops. Nigger, I'll kill you. Again, that's like seven times I said that shit. <laughs> I'm so scared of you and the cops. He got the fucking, he, he like writes my name on shit and colors pictures about me and stuff. Fucking faggot wants my dick. I guess. Weak. Like I was saying though, he's a pervert. He probably let his mom get raped. I bet you he would run out the house. What is this? What is this? All right, this is the last time I'm talking about him, though, because we got him exactly where we want. We're going to let him stay mad. So he's so he's said that he's coming to Tulsa. He's going to do, what is it? I don't even know. Whatever y'all said, he said. Perfect. Now, when tomorrow comes and he's probably not on stream again for three or four days, uh, the, the two losers that gave him money, Ono and, and, and Child of God, like, you're not making me mad. I don't even like niggers. Like, I really don't. Okay, Sorry. Uh, you're not making me mad, child of God. You didn't make me like you less. I already didn't like you. You just wasted your money. <laughs> he got this key shrine over there. You didn't make me like you any less. I already did not like you one bit. Uh, you were at the bottom of... All right, so that ends that one right there. Uh, we're going to just jump right over to the second part of this. Honestly. Oh, and actually, uh, before I start that, I apologize. I want to say thank you to Anonymous. Uh, while that was going on, we received a PayPal donation 
from Anonymous. Thank you so much for your support, Anonymous. And I know you're watching. I appreciate the support. All right. And again, I'm going to give you all a forewarning. There is just, I mean, as you caught it towards the end of this last clip we played, it is very bad, bad language that's coming from this individual. So uh, apologize for that uh, forewarning up ahead. And for some of you that may have been asking, this is from last night's stream. Uh, this is from Ski Mask Andy's stream while I was live streaming. So I was going on with my live stream show. Ski Mask was on live at the same time. Uh, he, apparently, he was pretty upset about the amount of donations that the channel was receiving last night at the same time he was live. Uh, I guess he was also upset about his viewer count, whatever. You know, what the? It, it's just a different story with the dude every day. But uh, it's always about the money because that's what he needs to, you know, continue his, you know what. So, uh, again, we're just going to jump right into the uh, second of four clips, okay? <laughs> uh, I'm not even trying to be flagrant right now. I have said some fucking crazy ass shit. I've talked about people's kids, their, their family, their loved ones, deceased people, their gangs. I talked about races, political parties, entire entire countries. Nah, I've said it all. What up, Nate? What's with these weirdo male stalkers? Who you tell me, bro? She's the weeds. This motherfucker. They they did people. I'm like a celebrity now, Nate. My, how many subscribers? Four thousand. And I done blew up in this bitch. That's what I want to think anyway. I don't want to believe it's just one creepy dude with a fucking man crush on me. Well, it's at least two creepy dudes. One of them came from Canada. Man, I'm blown up out here. I got them all salty. People I've, I haven't forgot about, the ones that used to be way bigger streamers and shit, they, they're upset. He made his own shit. Me, this is, I made this shit. I don't aim a member of no communities. Ski Mask Andy is a character that I fucking invented. Is it ain't even a character? I'm fucking, man, I'm, I'm an artist. It's okay to lust over a hot mom like NJ. She is now a public figure, and apparently NJ says it's no big deal that you show her. Good, absolutely. I'm glad he said that. Oh, is he, I wonder. His that mom is probably true. isn't fertile, but my damn. My What's cum shot is so it was just doing it's so lethal. Came in the back of my life. Man, it's like it could get a, I could get like a man, I could get my tennis shoe pregnant or something. It's like some drops of cum just fell on the floor. It's like a little human would just burst like a plant. He's All the right? sick fuck that's got you my could get, mom. You could like you can in. suck my dick and probably get pregnant, ladies, honestly. Oh my man, you're nasty, ski mask. Yeah, I'm, yeah. We'll just leave it at that. I am not running around offering my services my or my team to anybody Wait, at all whatsoever. So let's not get that mistake. <laughs> no, no, no. JC's mom. Good. All right. So now we're going to go on to the third clip. Okay. This is the third part of this whole just shit show from Ski Mask Andy here. Third Giving of the money. Clip. They hate him. Giving to some other fucking black person who's homeless at the gas station needed lunch, but. You give it a fat, pudgy kite boy over there because you're a dumb nigger. Don't be a dumb nigger. Don't give the kite money. <laughs> Point blank, period. Hispanic folks would never give that motherfucker no money. You don't see no Latino giving him money. They hate him. They hate that motherfucker. He don't fit in nowhere. He's a gay, uh, he's a faggot Hispanic. Like like Mexican, like people that are like first generation, second, third generation, they don't like him because he's a faggot. They don't like him because he's born in America. They don't like him because he's whitewashed and wishes he was white with his little corny kite voice. You were a fucking thugged out Latino who had a, adopted a childhood. You got put with a silver spoon, you fucking weak ass. See, I'm not going to say nothing uh, anti-Hispanic. Because I like Hispanic people. I just don't like him. Pretty much. Pretty much. And I will fuck the shit out of your mom, Emilio. You better not let her get no, 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 uh, you better not let me get away to message your mom. That's all I'll say. Because if I do, boy, the panties are coming off and she's mailing them to me. I 
And I don't even give a fuck. Yeah, like they tell me she's making Facebook posts or she's making Instagram posts and she's putting pictures up and look at the baby and this and that. Nah, that bitch fucked up. She fucked up. Let her deal, deal with her own shit. Trying to use me for whatever the, whatever the angle in the, on that whole scenario was to get a kid. Like, okay, you win there. Allegedly, you never proved it and I don't know you no money, so I don't give a fuck. I, I think you thought you were going to have a OJ Simpson 2.0, the white version or something. I just don't care about you. Who's an attorney? How do I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't threaten her. I said, I will fuck the fucking shit out of that bitch until her pussy is all running down my dick, down my balls, at, and she'll want me to. There's nothing illegal about that. <laughs> I'll make her ask me to do it. But literally, I'll make her this, and I'll make I'll record that shit. I'll record her asking me if I will fuck her, and, I'll, and yeah, we'll be all good and they're clear there, Mister Legality. <laughs> I bet your mom got the yeast infection. She's like seventy-eight years old. I, will, uh, I hate having to even joke about fucking a bitch, but because it's your mom and I'm that disrespectful, I will fucking put my dick. I put my whole torso inside your mom. She got that big ass belly of yours out of her. I know she got a big pussy. You got a pussy I could put a fist inside of. I ain't into fisting pride. So that's not a compliment. Not a compliment. It just means you're fucking little bitty bitch ass with your humongous belly. I know you stretched out the cooler work down there. All right. <laughs> I bet you if I would have challenged him to a damn wrestling match, he would have accepted it, huh? He didn't want to get these paws put on him. He definitely would have loved to rum, roll, roll around and tussle a bit, though. He looks like one of the faggots that likes to uh, extreme wrestle. I'm getting ready to end the stream, though. But it ain't a rage quit. Yeah, whatever, Kelly. You can go watch him. I am all of a sudden over it. I'm over it. I can't believe I was talking about this loser for that long. I'm literally actually over it. Like I was earlier, but then, you know, sometimes my tactics are so effective, they happen instantly. But my intended result is just, it uh, manifests itself immediately. Brought him right back out of retirement, didn't I? He ain't been live in three days. I started talking about, uh, da, da. he kicked out the ski verse. He came right back. He came right back. Now you're dehydrated. Go get some water, ho. Go get some water, ho. Go, go support your favorite streamer over there trying to do something to piss me off. Yeah, you're supporting the person that harasses me. And for that, I hate you, you dumb motherfucker. I don't like I don't like people. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna pussyfoot about it. All you weak-ass motherfuckers on the internet. You know what I do, y'all. I don't know what you'll do to me. I don't know what you'll do to me. Sorry about that. So <laughs> I was muted there. So we're going to go right into the last clip, and then we're going to have a little discussion about this, okay? And then we're going to break this up with a little palate cleanser, all right? Stay tuned. All right, this is the fourth of the fourth clip from last night's live stream of Ski Mask Andy's rant, um, which pretty much, as you've heard, is just all pretty much against myself and my mother at this point. He's spoken a little bit about my father a bit. But, uh, yeah, what a disgusting individual. Very disgusting things he says about women. Um, no respect. Um, and you got to also remember, this individual is literally 10 feet down the hallway from his own mother and father. Well, I'm really curious if they're actually listening and hearing this shit. Obviously, they can. I'm just curious if they really care to listen, if they're really, really listening, or they just don't give a shit. But uh, either way, it's just really embarrassing that, you know, this guy's a 40-year-old scumbag. Literally, the definition of a fucking scumbag. And he is sitting there 10 feet away from his own mother, who, mind you, is also a grandmother, okay? No. <laughs> oh, man, what a sad story. Anyways, um, and he's talking about my mom like this, okay? And I'll tell you, somebody who speaks about women like this has obviously had some type of past, okay? There's a lot more to the background of this individual's story. There's a reason why he has this hatred towards women. There's a reason that obviously why he's attracted towards men, okay? 
<laughs> and he just doesn't want to come out and tell people it. I don't know why. It's so obvious, okay? The guy straight up hates women. It's a fact. You can hear it just by the way he speaks. So, and we've already, like I said, exposed the fact that he's had, you know, plenty of <laughs> relationships in the past with transvestites, with men, um, you know. Uh, I, I don't know why he's he he's embarrassed to come out of that when he clearly has made the point that he does not like women, period. Exactly, Miss Freeze, Mr. Freeze Man. Mr. Frisbee Man, why be secret? Exactly. And we spoke on when we were doing that actual episode, a lot of people had some really good comments. You know, a lot of people had some positive stuff to say. Hey, what's up, Gish? Good to see you. Shout out. Um, a lot of people have said they feel that Ski Mask would actually be a lot better person. Obviously, he wouldn't have this hatred built up in him if he would just come out and be truthful to himself and everybody else. I mean, honestly, we don't have to know or care. I mean, but don't don't sit there and 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 pretend to be somebody you're not because it's clearly hurting you and it's clearly making you mad, man. I mean, it's giving you a hatred, obviously, towards women, but boy, it's nuts. But anyways, let's just move on to this last clip here of the, the threats from last night, and then we're going to move on to something, not something different, just like I said, a little palate cleanser. All right, let's add this to the stream here. Start it over here. All right, and I will be quiet. Shit. Your mom would, would turn into Michelle by the time I was done. I'm telling you the truth. He's a completely different guy before he started this stream or shit. He had no, like, now he had, like, this false bravado. You could tell it's false because he didn't have it when it started. You could tell it's false. Now he's crying. He's going to drive to Tulsa and file a complaint. I don't give a fuck. If he drives to Tulsa, and a complaint on what? Are you going to file a complaint on what? Ski Mask Andy on YouTube? Good luck, bitch nigger. I hope that I hope that uh, somebody kidnaps you on the way here and they light you on fire in the desert. I mean, I wish the worst for you, buddy. Good luck. Hope your car has a, bo a bomb attached to it. Come to Tulsa, nigger. Come now. Hurry up and come. File your reports. I'll meet you down there. I'll turn myself in. How about that? I just told you I'll fucking kill you, bitch. I ain't worried about you. I ain't worried about the police. Man, I've, yeah, do your worst. Do your worst, you fucking kike. Ah, fuck the shit out of your mother. Get mad. Get mad. You know she'd be moaning my name like any other bitch. Ski! <laughs> Ski! Ski! What's my name? Ski! Ski! Oh, shit. Your mom would, would turn into Michelle by the time I was done with her. I have your mom running around drinking Tito's, chain-smoking cigarettes, and trying to show her titties to me. Jim and me. I bet your mama, of course, is a freak, too. She got to be a freak to let some nasty-looking motherfucker like you fall out of her. Anus baby, dumpster baby, asshole rectum baby, rectally burst asshole baby. You ain't got no hair on top of your head. You ain't got no hair on top of your head. We well, he didn't. He didn't drive. Oh, whatever. I don't know what you're trying to say. Who drove twice? We did. You want to give him extra credit? I will play the tape. He's, he's the one that committed a crime. Yeah, go ahead, coward. You're not going anywhere. You're trying to gas your little loser stream up for uh, viewers or uh, donations. Nobody gives a fuck. I said I'll kill you. Hurry up and get in your car, bitch boy. You're my puppet. You're my puppet, nigger. You do what I want you to do, bitch. Hurry up. Hurry up, bitch. Hurry up. No, but he can't do nothing. I have him on video bringing a criminal. Emilio, you're a fucking coward. You're a coward. Fuck your father. I hope your father has a heart attack tonight, and I hope that someone breaks into your house and rapes your mother. You wouldn't do shit, weak bitch. What else? I hope that you come to Tulsa and get left in Tulsa and die. How about that? His parents are public figures. I hope that somebody murders them. It ain't illegal to hope. It's not illegal to hope. Trust me. Not illegal to hope. And Ski Mask Andy, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Go file something on Ski Mask Andy. I'm I'm Mr. Nobody. Also, I don't know who the fuck he is. So suck my dick, metaphorically. Because I would never let you suck my dick, you super faggot. I'm going to stop saying that to your gay ass, by the way. I know you probably get a little, little 
uh, Woody over there. Yeah, he's the fucking uh, deranged psychopath. Please hurry up and come to Tulsa because I'm going to fucking lethally defend myself and let the court so settle it. You're the coward, not me. You fucking Mexican spick. I don't mean to say that. Mexican, you Jew, you fucking kike spick. I hate to use the S word. I apologize. But this motherfucker makes makes me hate Spanish people. This he, Him and Captain Content, two Spanish kikes. I can't stand them. I can't stand Spanish Jews. I didn't mean to use a spick word because that doesn't even apply to Spanish people. That's like an anti-derogatory word. I apologize for saying it. Those are yeah, three hundred dollars in cash apps. Nobody believes Ono, who is like, who gives a fuck? Ono is that weird bitch that was in here earlier. <laughs> Come on, bring your fat ass down here, bitch. You're a coward. You don't want to fight me though. Are you coming down here to fight me? Because that's what you. If you come down here, that's. Oh, is that you it? Go, right. you on. Come on. Bring your fat ass down here, bitch. You're a coward. You don't want to fight me, though. Are you coming down here to fight me? Because that's what you're... If you come down here, that's... Okay, that was it. Sorry about that. All right. So, that was it, folks. Here, let me just move this out of here. Remove. All right. So, yeah, like I said, I apologize up front. It was a very explicit language. But uh, if you don't hear it that way, it just, I believe you just don't feel the full effect of what this person is and what they convey. I mean, it's clearly just, just in those four clips, you, you witnessed a racist, you witnessed a psycho, you witnessed somebody that's got some very serious, serious demons in them. Um, you, you witnessed somebody that obviously is afraid to come out and tell the truth about who they really are. Um, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's horrible. Um, and that was just in that smidget of those four clips. Remember that is about 5% of the amount of clips that I have with about the same type of language. I mean, it's the threats are there that I'm going to kill you this and that. Uh, I mean, at the, the other ones don't have as much of the stuff about my mom, but, um, yeah, it's, it's horrible. <laughs> I was just watching chat and I, I saw a lot of you just same thought of mind as me, you know, while we're listening to this scumbag and it's disgusting. Uh, I, I honestly don't know how he can just sit there and continue to look himself in a mirror. If there's honestly, I bet you there's no mirrors in that whole household. And I bet you that's done on purpose. Okay. I bet you there's seriously no mirrors in the bathroom where David goes into in his room anywhere, just for the fact that he does not want to look at himself and realize what type of piece of shit he really is. He's afraid to look at himself. That's what it really comes down to. He is just afraid to see that he has wasted 40 years of his life to become literally a low cow at this point. I mean, if he decides to stick around on the tubes as he has been, he is literally now a low cow. He's always been one, but he is an official low cow. Nothing but somebody that turns on to watch just to say, damn, I'm glad my life isn't like that loser. That's it. I mean, that's the reality of it. And I don't know how an individual, you know, especially one as cocky as him, you know, that acts like he's the man, you know, can literally go living his life as a locale. I mean, you've got a daughter to take care of. Does that just not concern you one bit before all this other stuff that you, you bullshit around with? You don't give just one hoots about the fact that you created another human being and that's important that they have a father in their life, somebody that's there to protect and to support them. And you just said, fuck it. I don't give a shit. Man, imagine if your parents did that to you. If your parents did that to you, even at 40 years old, like you are right now, just gave up on you. You'd be out on the streets like a fucking bum you are. <laughs> so I find it ironic that you want to sit there and talk the shit you do when the only thing that's keeping you from just being out on the streets, which you can't survive. Okay. You can't even survive one night out camping in the wilderness. Okay. Nonetheless, being out on the streets, the only thing that's keeping you from being out there is just because your little mommy and daddy actually give a shit about you. Okay. So imagine the way you treating your child, how you would be if your parents decided to turn around and be just like you. A piece of shit. Sad. Anyways, um, I have something to give us a palate cleanser here. 
How about some how about some fur baby love, huh? We all love fur babies. <laughs> Ski mask might not, but I know all of you do. So I don't have much palate cleanser because a lot of this shit is just all toxic. But one palate cleanser I have this evening is going to be a quick clip, all right? This, just to give you a little background story, uh, this is the reaction of Rio and Dobby. So for some of you that don't even know who Rio and Dobby is, those are my two little fur babies. Well, one's little, the other one's pretty big. Uh, Rio's my black lab mix. Dobby's my little chocolate brown chihuahua mix, okay? Uh, most of y'all that follow us on our walking talks are very familiar with Rio and Dobby. And a lot of you were wondering, hey, do you think your pups are missing you? And I said, yeah, absolutely they're missing me. Are you kidding me? Well, let's just see if that was the truth, all right? So I decided to sneak into my house when I got home, turned on the phone. I knew they were probably going to be in like one of the rooms where they hang out in. They either hang out in my room, but if I'm not there, they hang out in the other guest room. And sure enough, they were. So here's their reaction. That's all I get. That's all I get. Oh, you guys been taken care of then, huh? Yeah, what's up, Rio? What's up, Dobby? Yeah! <laughs> That's because you guys are listening to my voice on TV, huh? What you guys doing, huh? What you guys doing, huh? What up, Rio? Yeah, now you remember me. Okay. Yeah, I'm surprised you guys didn't smell me from outside. Yeah, what's up, what's up, what's up? I won't. I see it. Well, there you go. That was your just 10 seconds of some fur baby love, all right? <laughs> Cherish it, because the rest of the evening is going to just be a bunch of vile, toxic shit from Ski Mask Andy. <laughs> all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, super oofer he was. He was ready to do a little walk and talk for sure. Well, I'll tell you what's funny is I think they would have been a lot more excited. Well, they were super excited, okay, but... I've seen them be, I've seen them get a lot more crazier. And the reason they were so calm is my parents were pretty smart. So what they were doing to keep them kind of calm, because I, I would I don't think they're that nervous of dogs, but you know, I, I was gone for a while, okay, and they're they're used to me 24-7. So uh my my parents would play clips of some of my videos while my dogs were chilling in the guest room where the TV's at. So that way they'd feel like, you know, I was in the room with them. So if you guys noticed when I came around the corner there or when the dog saw me, they were already listening to me. So I think that's why they felt like I was there, you know, but uh, no, nah, they, they still knew I was gone. And I think Rio was really excited to see me. Dobby, he was just like, ah, let's go get a snack. All right. <laughs> all right. So that was your little palate cleanser for the evening. Okay. So for your information, going forth is just going to be a bunch of toxic bile shit. But there's a reason why we show this so that we can expose these people and who they really are. Um, I want to break this up because we've heard enough of Ski Mask with uh, some, some video clips that I found that were very interesting. A lot of these were actually sent to me. So I want to say thank you to the individuals that sent me these clips. Um, again, it's just hard to keep track of all these people, especially somebody like this, who I don't give one rat's ass about. As a matter of fact, I, I don't watch this individual. I'm not subscribed to them. I could care less if they, you know, somebody, you know, sent me a message that said, Hey, this person's, you know, done a six hour live stream about you. Um, now people will send me clips and I will obviously watch those, but, uh, this was kind of a compilation of some of the latest clips that I received by this individual. Uh, the reason I'm going to be showing you this tonight is because this individual claims to be a close friend or, at, you know, pretty much I would just call them a coach, okay, of Ski Mask Andy. Uh, this individual has just inserted themselves out of nowhere, as a matter of fact, with Ski Mask Andy, uh, with, with, you know, even the family of Ski Mask Andy's child, okay, which is just nuts. I have no clue why this person feels that they have to have any, any, you know, as far as just communication, any just, just discussion of these people. They have nothing to do with this person. As a matter of fact, I don't even know why this person even exists on the internet because 
All they are is just a delusional mental nutcase. And I hate to say it that way, but it's the truth. All they all they are doing is literally live streaming just themselves and and showing to the world that they need serious help. And the bad thing about this is that nobody's helping this individual. OK, and um, I don't know, maybe this is a cry for help. Who knows? But I'll let you make your own opinions. But uh, we're going to just kind of roll through the clip and then, you know, I'm going to be just kind of watching chat and we can discuss some of the points I may see that were interesting that you guys made. But uh, let's see here. Let me just make sure. Man, I have so many clips here. Okay, so we already went through those. We already went through the school record and we already debunked that rumor. Um, We already got a little puppy love there. Okay, yeah, this was it. All right, so uh, I'm going to just play this clip through. Again, this is a compilation of different clips from this individual. Uh, this individual just seems most of the time to either, A, just make these guest appearances on random people's, like, panel shows. Again, they just are a grifter. They just insert themselves, okay? Uh, it's just part of, the, part of the game for them, okay? Um, the other thing they like to do is they will come on and pretty much just speak to a – I guess I don't know who they're speaking to. Uh, sometimes it appears they're speaking to nobody, but they'll come on like, you know, do these early morning live stream shows where they'll just pick a victim of the night. You know, essentially anybody that comes to, I guess, this drunken person's just mind that evening. And, and then they go on a, you know, one to three hour just, you know, tantrum. I mean, that's all I can call it at this point. But uh, what you're going to witness is uh, what this individual is truly about. Um, and you know what? It's funny because this person's such a narcissist. While you guys are looking at this and saying, wow, this is insane. This is embarrassing. This is disgusting. I can guarantee you this person right now is watching and they are smiling. Okay. They are laughing. Uh, and that's why I'm saying this individual does need some serious mental help. Okay. And I'm not make, saying this to be mean. I'm saying this because they seriously do. And I hope they there's a person in their family because that seems to be the only person that can actually possibly reach out to this individual. I don't think they even have real friends, okay, uh, which is very scary and sad. But uh, somebody needs to intervene, and, and as soon as possible, that's all I can say. That's my personal opinion about the matter. But uh, here we go. Too many the stage because, look, I am just looking at... Uh, again, these clips are just kind of random. Uh, just pay attention to what she's saying, especially in this first clip, okay? I find this really disgusting. I mean, this first clip really bothered me because she's saying some pretty fucking nasty shit, and the rhetoric that she's speaking about, especially about a woman, about women, which she is one, okay? She is a woman. Just listen to how she's speaking about women. It is just truly disgusting. Too many baby mamas do, does it? Huh? Look. No, he's some he's some fucking like Puerto Rican. That's black. Nah. It's still black. It's he's just, not the same kind of black that I am. I'm fucking, bro, I'm from the Western <laughs> Bantus, the Congo, Cameroon, fucking, I'm from the Eastern West Bantus he's and the Western black. Bantus. He don't want to be black, but he's black and he knows damn well he's black. He got, he just got his inward wake up call. That's what happened the other night. What happened? Oh, well, Sonny, well, I saw NJ Courts <laughs> post a thing. Sonny's supposed to be back in the States for a court oh, case. He? I didn't know that. And he's, that. he's not back in the States. Uh -oh. You know, I, like I know you like Sunny and shit, I, but like you know, Sunny's like I, I has a charge I for. I, I, I look, I like him as an entertainer. But you know what happened? You know I what happened? I don't want to fuck him or anything. No, I'm that. saying you know what happened. He fucking he beat his baby mom or some shit with a fucking with a brass knuckles or like a pipe or something. Everyone's like, being their baby's mama, and I'll tell you what. And, and, I, that doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it right what a lot of baby mamas do, does it? Huh? Look, I'm not anybody's baby. No, no, no. Look, if the, if it was a woman who beat his <laughs> ass with a pipe, I'd feel the same way. 
Look, I'm tired of the baby daddies. I'm tired of the baby mamas. I have no allegiance to either at this stage because I'm nobody's baby mama and I'm tired of how baby mamas regard me. So when I look at a situation, look, a lot of times, maybe you deserve it. Maybe I don't know it. about that, dude. Sorry. I don't know. I can't get down with that. I'm sorry. Well, you know, if it, if, well, I know I'm going to get hate for this, but this is me. I think that sometimes the men deserve it. Sometimes the women deserve it because they had no right to be bringing somebody in this world anyway, acting like a damn But fool. when you attack a woman with a weapon as a man, you're already a guy. You already have a physical advantage. Why do you need to pull out a weapon? <laughs> Maybe it's a big girl. What is it, Baby D from Friday? Maybe. He's not nah. a big guy. Look, I, I think of a woman's beating your ass and you like throw some swings back and you, you know, you beat a bitch up. Look, after she, exactly look if you have to, if, if a woman is beating your ass and you have no choice but to defend yourself, then by all means, you know, fucking whoop her ass. I don't care. But to I'm pull sorry. out a weapon on a girl, like, that's crazy. A weapon, weapons well, against women, that's crazy. A lot of a lot of men should have pulled out to begin with, and then they wouldn't be in that predicament, would they? Uh, still, but I mean, still, you, there's you could just walk away though. Like there, ain't, there ain't gotta be no like no pulling weapons out on a girl, you know. That care. takes that takes like if like there's like people who like hit women and shit, like beat on their wives and beat on their baby mamas like with their fists. So That's saying, like a whole nother level of it with a weapon. Please clip and ship anything I say at this stage because look. I am just looking at too many baby mamas who never should have been baby mamas who are weaponizing their children. But I look at baby daddies too, who also weaponize their children who never had any business fucking around. So I think that the problem is on both sides. And this is why we need licenses to breed. Hey, Alex, have you ever gotten your ass beat by a dude? Like actually nope. had your ass beat? All right, nope. then you probably wouldn't know. I have beat a guy's ass before. Well, there's a lot of weak ass dudes out there, so I'm not surprised. But what I'm saying is, is like, like if you've never like had your ass beat by a dude, you probably wouldn't understand the the physical would, disadvantage that you're really at. I would not put myself in that position. You don't have to put yourself in the position. It might just stumble upon you one day. You might not have a choice. Why would it? Why would it stumble upon me though? Because sometimes in life, shit happens. You never know. It's Anything possible. could happen. A nuclear bomb could drop on your fucking head right now. You never know. It's possible. It's possible. Um, it, it is possible. You are correct. But what I will say. I'm a one-sided chat. Good. There needs to be a one-sided chat. That makes it more fun while I spit and I talk to y'all. I'm so happy you're here, Bubble, honestly. She did, Bubble. Her mom did. Here. Right. Don't ever communicate with me again. Yahoo. Man, she is just, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. Why if are this you is still her typing? Literally crying for attention Why? or help. Go away. Go back to where you belong. Go to White World. This is not it, bitch. This ain't it for you. Go, go pretend to be something that you're not, Joan. You fucked up screen cap and all of it oh i'm a drunk now oh well then well don't worry it's all gonna be in the court of law don't worry about that <laughs> cheers miss miss delusia cat whoever it is that you want to be joan look at her cheers. eyes she needs help you can just see it in her eyes you're nothing but a whore you're worse than your daughter actually as you raised her you raised her. Bye. And she's clearly a racist. It's nuts. Ta ta. She calls everybody else racist. Look at the way she talks. Ta ta. Oh, 
was. Uh, so Alabama, you see, you're if, you see, if you see me zoning out, it's no, just I know where, I'm just thinking about is. Hold up. I, I know. All right, so I'm going to give everybody a forewarning right now. Um, don't worry. I know what's going to come up. I did already censor this video, but just as a forewarning to some people, um, there is going to be a part here where Alex does lift up her shirt to reveal herself. It's very disgusting. Um, you've got to also remember that this live stream or this panel that she's on right now, this was not a, uh, this was not like, uh, it, it's obviously on YouTube, but this was a, um, this was not rated for adults only. You follow me? So if you clicked onto this live stream, there was not a consent that you had to press that you were over the age of 21 or 18. So essentially, a child could have clicked onto this live stream. And this is the type of behavior that you see from Alex, okay? <laughs> but forewarning, you're going to see some stuff. Do not worry. I did already censor it out. Uh, I know exactly if you see me zoning out, it's because all I think about is huge-ass titties. Yeah, of right? course. I knew he was going to say that before he said it. No, no. That's, not, see that's literally... You want to see some huge ass? Ooh. What well, you it's can, you can take your shirt off. Just show, show nipples. Don't show nipples, all right? Oh my God, good time. Stop being a horn You're dog. A no, horn I've seen her tits. I've seen her tits like a bunch of times. I don't care. I don't care about it. All right. <laughs> I'm just saying you can show titties, but you can't have nipples. You can't have your nipples out. I can have my nipples out because I'm men. Is that sexist? Uh-oh, oh, uh uh-oh, 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 booby under, under, under booby. Oh, under boobs. That's well, what well, all the girls show, show your nipples. That I'm under boob my shit. I'm like, what is that? Uh-oh. No. <laughs> I'm not even gonna, because then I'll get shit. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> no, 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 all right. Well, there you go. That was uh, the small compilation. And I'm talking small compilation of just of many clips that are out there of this individual and this same exact behavior that you witnessed here. Um, this has been going on for years now. And go figure, this same individual is a big fan and 100% endorses ski mask in everything he does. I mean... The fact that he's a racist, she endorses the fact that he's a woman beater. Um, but I see why. I really saw it. I saw it in these clips. In that first clip, did you see how she was speaking about? I mean, she pretty much was endorsing the fact that it's okay to strike women. Okay, uh, she really didn't care about it. Uh, she then goes to say, you know, she she says a bunch of just back. And the other clip of her, I guess she's in someone's yard, the one where she's smoking and spitting. Oh, disgusting. Um, she goes off and talks about a bunch of racist stuff. She even uses this term white world, okay? This lady is a person that if she dislikes you, the first thing she does is she slanders you and calls you a racist, okay? She tries to plaster that word in your name everywhere, okay? Go figure. From an actual racist herself and somebody who endorses somebody like Ski Mask, who we have seen on multiple clips, okay, even tonight. We saw that just on the four clips we played earlier of him, and that was just a 0.001% of the clips of him being racist. And We're going to watch another one here soon, okay? And this is her best buddy. But remember, to her, this is her excuse, okay? And this is the really disgusting thing I find about this individual, all right? She hides all of this behind the excuse of, Oh, it's all right the way they act because it's it's an act. They're entertainers. It's YouTube. Get the F out of here. My gosh. So why are you going after all these other people if they're on YouTube and it's just an act? You, you disagree with the way they act, essentially, right? It's just an act. Yeah, see? she th This person's just another hypocrite. <laughs> it's nuts. Anyways, uh, let's jump into another clip here. Uh, again, like I said, unfortunately tonight we weren't going to have too many palate cleansers. It was going to just be a night of watching a lot of just this toxicity, but uh, it had to be exposed. I mean, uh, the, these individuals, it, it's not fair that they continue just to spread this rhetoric and, and act like it's just there's nothing wrong with it, you know, especially in a platform like this on YouTube that 
everything you've seen these people do is not allowed on YouTube, okay? And they continue to do it. All right, so let's see here. We already did that. Uh, let's play, let's continue some of the threats. So this was a threat that was essentially, uh, I think this was earlier yesterday or possibly the day before. Uh, this still has to do with, like I said, you know, the live stream that Ski Mask was upset about with the donations and this dono train that he, you know, he claims, uh, you know, $600 were made and it should have, you know, you know his story. You heard him. So anyways, uh, this is continuing on some of the threats. Uh, this, I think, was actually before that night, though, because um, he still he already had this. Yes, I think it was. Uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was because I remember I was showing everybody this same picture to show you because Ski Mask was essentially trying to use it to try to embarrass me that, oh, I got a picture of your mom now. <laughs> and it was like, bro, we don't care, man. Like, I don't know what your big deal is. So yes, he had actually made this threat a lot earlier than the original threats you heard from the beginning of this stream. So uh, same day, but this was said earlier. Okay. So, and we did play this yesterday for some of you, you might've heard this already, but for some of you may not have, uh, once we're done with this threat, I'm going to play a series of some more threats, and then we're going to have a discussion about some of this stuff. All right. Um, and then hang tight because I do have a, uh, some paperwork that I want to read over with you guys together. Uh, again, a lot of you have already seen this and gone over this with me, but for some of you that may not have. Uh, we're going to be going over the criminal, essentially the criminal summary report uh, from the day that Ski Mask ended up assaulting his mother and brother. Okay, so we'll leave that to the end. But uh, yeah, let's just get rolling right into the threats again. And for warning, it's going to just be a lot of vile, toxic shit, just like it's been all stream. I'm sorry. But uh, here we go. Too, uh, not too uh, proud that I won't admit it. I'm terrible. His father might have been Dino Man, hence the extreme jealousy by the cray cray weird guy. His father might have been Dino Man. It's a lot to think about. I'm going to be honest, I haven't figured it all out. Uh, this guy, while wanting to bring up shit about me that he don't even know, dude, listen to me when I tell you, I'm going to fucking kill you. I'm going to kill you unless I control myself as I'm beating you savagely. Then, if I'm able to, you know, because I have just fucked people up before. I've never actually killed nobody. But you have me a special kind of anger. And uh, the fact that, like, you are you were doing the bidding or you were a paid antagonist and harasser by this one stupid bitch that should have, in all honesty, uh, this and that, yeah. Uh, that's going to be an extra aggravating factor. I'll probably beat you like I have never beat somebody up before. And you know my criminal record, so you only get aggravated cases in, in, in extreme circumstances. Broken bones and permanent disfigurements get you aggravated. Okay? That's why when you try to say something like that, you piss me off. You piss me off trying to say I did anything to my mom. When I actually have aggravated charges at several times at several periods, justifiably so, I'll fuck you up. That's why, that's why little pussies like him and my bitch-ass little faggot brother, that's why they act like that. He couldn't even, dude, when you were in my presence, you were froze like a fucking, you were petrified wood. Look at how you get, you got your mom. Yeah, you were acting like your mom is acting in that photo when you saw me. Hey, you had to pay me no attention, but but completely aware and even hyper hyper aware. You were scared. Man, stop making your mom feel like that, Emilio, you fucking scumbag. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, boy. Boy, Mama Quartz. Mama Quartz is not happy with you, bucko. I know because she told me. That's how I know. Uh, Google Drive, yada, yada. You can't just email it. Oh, okay. Was that it? Yep. So that was, you know, one of, like I said, the many threats that continued on later that evening. So um, now the next 
compilation of threats I'm going to play are going to be some threats that uh, were made previous to all this. Um, again, it's just to give you an idea of who this individual is. Um, again, this is just a smidget of the amount of threats and clips I have from this individual, not to mention not only to myself and my family, but as well as other creators, those creators' children. Um, he's made threats even to animals. He said he was going to poison somebody's dog, okay? This guy's a disgusting individual. And the one thing I want to point out for everybody, especially for those that have watched Ski Mask, okay? You've seen whenever Ski Mask is lying, okay? Whenever he's just making up bullshit, you can tell by the way he speaks, okay? One, he stutters a lot. I mean, that's the first thing that gives it away, okay? He'll start stuttering because obviously he's thinking about the lie, okay? He's not smooth with his words. Have you guys noticed any stuttering from any of these threats when Ski Mask's making them? Or when he starts going off on these just vile tangent, just speeches, okay, just about some crazy rhetoric. No, it literally comes out like a, a, I mean, just smooth as butter, okay? And the reason that it's coming out like that is because this individual is speaking from his heart, okay? He's not having to think about this. This isn't him acting, okay, making up some fucking line, okay? This is him seriously speaking from his mind and his heart. And it's showing you he is a serious racist. He's got an issue with women. Um, I mean, obviously, he's a woman beater. He's, he has no issue striking women, none whatsoever. OK, but I mean, it, it's that's the thing I want you guys to pay attention is just the way he talks whenever he's making these threats. OK, versus watch whenever he starts lying or bullshitting. You'll notice, OK, if you've never noticed it yet. Watch, you're going to start noticing it now that I pointed it out to you. I can promise you that. But uh, here we go. These, again, are just some past threats um, that Ski has made. Again, just a small compilation of hundreds, at this point, threats made by Ski towards me and many others. Oh, and uh, I want to say thank you. As a matter of fact, uh, I started off this compilation with a little screenshot. Uh, this was a picture that was sent to me by a viewer. And uh, they wanted to point something out. So I thought the best way to actually see if others were, you know, kind of saw the same thing is let's put it up and see what chat thinks. So, again, this was actually uh, sent to me by a viewer. And uh, they said, NJ, it, it appears to me, and, and I'm sending this to you because I'm wondering if you see the same thing. But this was during Ski Mask, one of his live streams where he had one of these guests of his up. I think this is that guy he likes to watch. And you guys know it's 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 not a real guest. It's it's some it's just somebody streaming this for him. Um, I forgot the name of the guy. It's, it's some guy from Spain or something he watches. The guy that guy's kind of got the big head that, you know, he just pretty much, like I said, he was trying to make it look like this guy was an actual viewer and was going on his panel. And it's not. It's just somebody playing a live stream from this guy. Anywho, I guess there's a part where Fabio, thank you, Super Roofer. Super Roofer always with the save, man. Thank you, Super Roofer. Fabio, there we go. So I guess this was a part where Fabio was actually undressed. He had his top off. And um, the reason this screenshot was sent to me is this individual noticed at the time that Fabio was starting to undress that the reaction on Ski Mask's face kind of went like from, you know, to really exciting, um, you know, and they just wanted to point it out. That's all they were saying. So uh, I, for, you know, shits and giggles. And like I said, I'm curious to see what you guys think. Uh, I definitely wanted to put that screenshot that they sent over to me. So shout out to that individual. You know who you are. And uh, let's start this compilation with that. So I'll pause it. So to your right, that is the screen, that is the window frame from Fabio's essentially stream panel or his, whatever he's recording himself on. Okay, probably his phone. Uh, to the left is Ski Mask Andy, who is currently live. Okay. Now, I am gonna have to kind of agree with that individual. It does appear that, and again, I'm just stating the facts, right? That's all we do is go with the facts. Fact number one, we have Fabio who is currently undressed. He is a male, so he is allowed to have his shirt off. That's not against YouTube TOS, okay? 
So again, that's nothing wrong, but technically we do have a male currently without a shirt. Fact number two, when you glance over to at the same time this individual has their shirt off, you can notice that there does seem to be a grin or such what I would call a, yeah, I would call it like a grin. I was going to say a smile, but a smile kind of goes up. This is more kind of like a, yeah, you know what I mean? Like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you know where I'm going with this. So to that viewer who sent this to me and who wanted my opinion, it's, it's real difficult. I'm going to have to say that, but if I did have to go in front of a, a, you know, in front of the court of law and make a statement about this as like, NJ, do you feel that the individual ski mask Andy is currently smiling at the fact that another male is topless. I would say, yes, your honor, I do believe that that is exactly what is happening at this moment. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> so anyways, we'll move on. All right. And actually, you know what? Hey, shout out to that viewer because this was actually a great palate cleanser, okay? Kind of needed it, all right? Because uh, I only just had one video of the fur baby, so we could have just kept repeating it, so... But uh, technically, that was the only palate cleanser I had ready. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Brandon, you hang out with New Jersey Courts now. New Jersey Courts and her, by, by the way, were talking before we moved to Oklahoma. If New Jersey Quartz never sees me again, he would be lucky. And if he ever does see me again, it's going to be the last time he sees anybody because I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> oh, man. Remember when she made fun of her? Oh, man. He is lucky as the last one was. And I've never killed no bro, quite honestly. You'll be lucky if I don't kill you. You'll be very lucky. You'll be as lucky as the last one was. And I've never killed nobody. Not because I don't want to and I couldn't. Because I have almost killed a couple of people. I'm nearly positive that I'm going to go and murder this guy. For real, in New Mexico, not Minecraft. Uh, that would that would done the world with that. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna get this channel fucked up too, huh? And I'm gonna just literally be sitting over here with nobody to talk to. But now All right. Like I said, you know, I wasn't gonna play your ear off with a bunch of threats because they're pretty much all the same. You know, it's just a different date, different time. You know, it's the uh, I'm gonna kill you, and then there's the different ways he's gonna do it. Uh, you know, there's the claim that he's some type of, you know, ex badass and you know, you better not mess with him and this and that. Well, that's bullshit, all right? Because you know what? This is actually a perfect segue into who Ski Mask really is, all right? You're not some tough guy. You're just like it says in the thumbnail, okay? You're the mid, you're the Midwest queen pin. Really? Yeah, I recommend now. you see nope. tattoo removal. Not, not necessarily. I don't think you need to remove it. I would just go to a tattoo artist and have them change where it says king pin to queen. So that way it says Midwest queen queen pin all right but don't who are you fooling all right you're not fooling anybody especially if you walk into a jail like that and those ogs see midwest king pin on there oh man they're gonna check you man and you know it you know it all right folks so as promised let me show you some documents here well it's just one document but uh, it's a let's just put it this way it's a criminal summary report that's going to have on there several different paragraphs. And under each one of those paragraphs, that's going to be a different, uh, essentially, um, statement from a different witness. Essentially, we had when this, and I'm where I'm referring back to is the incident of Ski Mask Andy, uh, where he assaulted his mother and his brother. Uh, this has to do, as a matter of fact, with the last incident he has to do with why he's in court right now uh, in Tulsa. Remember. Ski Mask has a lot of other things going on around the you know, country. He's got open warrants now, two of them. He had one. Now he has two in the state of New Jersey. Okay, remember, we went over that. I uh, remember, he just, and, and that's not one of those warrants, okay? That doesn't include just the newly found information that we discovered 
that he just got indicted, okay, on two new charges in New Jersey, all right? And I'm sure that's going to come with the bench warrant here soon. So I can imagine we're going to see three bench warrants out of New Jersey soon. And there's a potential to even see four because technically he has a traffic citation that he hasn't made a payment to. And eventually after some time, well, it's already past the time he owes, he had to pay him back by. But, uh, you know, probably by the time they send it to collections, they get some, you know, response back that this guy's not going to make a payment. Then they're going to go ahead and issue out another bench warrant. So he's got two. He could easily have four. Okay. But where I'm going with that is, is please keep in mind, just, just this last thing that happened in Oklahoma is not just the last incident that this guy is literally facing having to do with the criminal justice system. Okay. And it has a lot to do with the type of guy he is. All right. <laughs> As you saw with the way he talks. Uh, let me just check something here. Okay. All right, so uh, let's jump over here to – we're going to go back over to the school record, but at the end of this is where I have this report. Ah, perfect. Here we go. So now some of you where it's a little bit hard to see, I understand. If you're on your phone, just go to your full screen mode, okay? Um, I'm going to read this with you, so don't worry. If you can't see it, I'm going to read it with you. But, uh, yeah, if you're on your phone, the easiest way to see it is if you just go to full screen mode, okay? <clears throat> so, let's read this together. Now, at the top, you notice it says incident summary. Again, this is going to have three witness statements. Or actually, yeah, three. Uh, one from the mother, one from the father, and another from the brother, okay? So, I'm going to just start at the very top. I did censor out some of the private information that, you know, I didn't have to. Again, this is a public document that you and I can access. And because that it is a fact that is a public document, this information did not have to be censored out. Um, I just did that one for the, you know, being we are a channel, a court coverage channel. I did that to be professional and two out of the respect of his family. OK, so uh, whenever you see something that's been shaded out, um, I'm just going to give that person a nickname like, uh, you know, Mama Ski, Papa Ski, Brother Ski. You follow me? <laughs> All right. So here we go. <clears throat> Incident summary. On February 9th of 2022, at approximately 0500 hours, which is 5 a.m., the victim, Brother Ski, went to his parents' residence at blah, 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 blah Street of Broken Arrow County of Tulsa. Brother Ski was having coffee with his parents when the defendant came into the residence and began yelling at the victim about parking where David parks when he visits. The defendant then sucker punched. Let me read that again. The defendant then sucker punched the victim. The defendant continued to strike the victim until their, until their father pulled the defendant off of the victim. The defendant walked out of the house and his mother, Mamaski, followed him to shut the door. As Mamaski pushed the door, the defendant kicked the door open, causing Mamaski to fall and fracture her shoulder. Witness summaries. This is going to be from Brother Ski. Brother Ski is the defendant's brother and the son of Mother Ski and Father Ski. Brother Ski will testify he went to his parents' residence on February 9, 2022 to have coffee with them. Brother Ski will testify he was sitting with Mother Ski when the defendant came into the residence yelling that Brother Ski had parked in his parking spot. Parking spot. Brother Ski will testify the defendant told him he needed to move his vehicle and then sucker punched him in the jaw, causing him to fall down. Brother Ski will testify the defendant continued to assault them until their father, Father Ski, was able to pull the defendant off of him. Brother Ski will testify the defendant then walked out the door and their mother went to shut the door. Brother Ski will testify he observed the defendant kick the door, 
causing the door to hit their mother and knock her down. Brotherski will testify the defendant then fled on foot. Brotherski will testify he observed video of the defendant bragging about assaulting him and their mother. Let me read that again. Brotherski will testify he observed video of the defendant bragging about assaulting him and their mother. All right. Uh, this is going to be now the witness statement from Mother Ski. Mother Ski is the defendant's mother. She will testify Brother Ski came over to see them on February 9th of 2022. She will testify she was having coffee with Brother Ski when the defendant came in and began yelling at Brother Ski. She will testify the defendant struck Brother Ski with a closed fist, knocking him down. She will testify the defendant continued to hit Brother Ski until Father Ski pulled the defendant off of him. Mother Ski will testify she went to, oops, let me just uh, scroll down a bit. Here we go. She will testify she went to the door after the defendant walked out. She will testify the defendant kicked the door and it hit her, knocking her down. Mother Ski will testify she has three fractures in her right shoulder that require surgery. Okay, and the bottom's a little bit hard for me to read because it's got kind of my little like kind of the play bar is that kind of blocking it, but I'll try my best to read this. So just excuse me. Uh, this is Father Ski. Father Ski is the defendant's father. He can testify. Brother Ski came over on February 9, 2022. He can testify um, something, the defendant yelling at Brother Ski. He can testify he pulled the defendant off of Brother Ski and stopped the assault. That was it. That was just a two sentence one. All right, so let me just zoom out of here. All right, so that was the uh, the incident summary report there, okay? Ski Mask to this date still claims that this is a false report, that none of this ever happened. This is all hearsay. Well, like I said, it does exist. It is a real report. It does come straight from the police department. As a matter of fact, like I said, any one of you can request this same incident report if you'd like to from that, essentially the Tulsa Sheriff's Department. All you have to do is just do it as a FOIA request, a Freedom of Information Act request, and you can access the same paperwork. So again, um, we're just reading this over to show the fact that this paperwork does exist. But most importantly, you know, after going over and seeing the videos and the threats of this individual and him still claiming, oh, no, I would never do that to my mom. Well, that's bullshit. All right. This individual's clearly he's got a history of hitting females um, with his family, with the Gucci's incident, with the mother of his child. OK, and these are all been documented. This is on film, for God's sake. I mean, I don't know how you can sit there and say, deny, deny, deny. When when it's on your on live streams, I mean, that's just the shit that just blows my mind. But, you know, like I said, hey, obviously these people have got a lot of stuff going on. They're narcissists. They I mean they're delusional. That's the thing is they are so delusional. They will sit there and deny just straight public facts. I mean, you could have a report like this. You could have the, you know, dash cam video from the cop. And this individual is still going to stand there and sit there and say, Oh, no, no, no. That's bullshit. This is all bullshit. You know, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I guess we'll just have the judge decide on that for Skiwi at this point. You know, and who are we, right? Who are we? We'll let the judge decide. But we certainly can have an opinion about this individual. And we certainly can be cautious about this individual. Because for a lot of you, I know a lot of you are from this individual state. A lot of you may even reside near this individual. So it does matter that you know that this individual is one out on bond, okay? That you know what type of criminal history that you have, they have. That you know the fact that not only are they breaking, you know, the laws in their own state, they're wanted in three other states right now, okay? So, all right. 
Let's see here. Man, you guys have been papa locking in chat. I've been watching on my phone and on here, and uh, it's been some good discussion. So I appreciate everybody's participation in chat. And uh, again, you know, um, like I said, we there are some people that will come in with some bad intentions. But for the most part, hey, we may not agree or disagree with you, but doesn't mean you're not going to be allowed in here. So uh, I've seen a lot of, you know, people kind of having some real good, you know, I would say, uh, you know, good, good debates amongst each other. All right. And I've been reading it. So, uh, again, I appreciate you all participating in the chat. All right, so I'm just seeing if I have any other clips because last night I got a little distracted with all the fun we had that I, I missed playing a few of the clips that I had set up for last night. But uh, let's see here. We went through all those threats. We went through that threat, this threat. Yeah, I know it sounds bad. Yep, yep, nope. And then uh, we, we, we even had a little interlude with the little fur babies there. So <laughs> what up, Stick? You know what's funny is I never I you know I and for some of you that may think I'm always constantly reading chat I am not it's very hard for me I try my best I would say I have improved but I will say this I never see any time stick sneaks into chat the only reason I know sticks in chat is I'll look in chat and I see somebody say stick rules and I'm like oh that means stick is in the house so I saw the stick rules I looked up and I see stick what up, my man? Good to see you, Stick. I hope you're having a good evening, my friend. And um, hey, can you maybe you can answer in chat because I was going to hit you up anyways later. Whatever happened to the buoy? Did you find the buoy? And yes, chat rules. I agree with you, Stick, 100%. So wait, hold on, Joy. Joy with the breaking news. Joy says, Ski just came on and said, if he don't get 500 this live, he's quitting. Ah, Okay. I thought you you were going to say, he just said, if I make 500 bucks this live stream, he's quitting. And I was going to say, all right, I'll be right back. Let me go to the ATM. <laughs> I'll send myself my own donation. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, exactly, Your Honor. I mean, come on now, too. How many times have we already heard this or seen that same title? I mean, that's that's this is a perfect example of what I'm saying. This guy has turned into such a lull cow, he, he won't even admit to it. And that's the thing is, hey, bro, if, if your concern is just money, and obviously that's all he's concerned about, then ride the lull cow train, my friend. But if you're going to sit there and deny all this shit, you know, put another title of, oh, if I don't make, you know, 500 bucks, I'm going to quit. Come on now, okay? <sighs> <laughs> we already know if the guy whether he makes 500 bucks or he doesn't he's still gonna be on tomorrow not even tomorrow he's gonna be on later tonight and then he'll be on again at like one in the morning then he'll be on again at like 2 30 then he'll be on again at like four okay because he sneaks out of the house between 2 30 and 3 30 to get his blunts all right then he comes back and then it just starts over again so who are you trying to fool, Ski Mask, by sitting there and saying, oh, this will be my last stream, I promise. Oh, my gosh. And it's all part of the sympathy scam, right? He's hoping that, you know, some of the, the cult members are going to feel so, so bad for him that they're finally just going to send him that money he needs, you know. I mean, it's a joke at this point, like I said. Yeah, Landon living that good life. Kevin says Landon living on a boat. Yeah, man. Landon living that retired life, baby. <laughs> and yes, let us get Stick to 1K. Stick, I think, is almost there. Um, very close, okay? So let, let, let's just get him to 1K. So if you guys in the chat have not subscribed to Stick, I would greatly appreciate you check out, one, his channel, okay? He does a lot of great IRL, a lot of exploration stuff. Uh, two, um, if you've not seen like a lot of the adventure stuff that we did just not too long ago, you can check out a lot of the stuff on his channel. You can see a lot of the adventure stuff on my channel. But most importantly, for some of you that may have not known, Stick, my man Stick's clip here, has made the IRL Moments channel, okay? That is one of the biggest, as far as like IRL clip channels out on the tubes, 
Okay, they're like 20K plus channel. Let's just put it that way. They've already featured Sticks clip twice. And every time they featured it, it's the very first clip they play. So, clip Stick. <laughs> Kudos to you, my friend, for getting that awesome footage, which is some of you still haven't figured it out. That footage that you see Ski Mask keeps replaying and replaying and replaying of him, you know, pretty much embarrassing himself after his court hearing. That was Stick that was taking that footage, okay? So shout out to my man Stick there. And he definitely deserves to get to 1K, especially after providing that footage. And you know what? Like I said, he was just there as my friend, all right? Stick does not do court coverage. Stick does really good IRL stuff. So like I said, if you want to get back into the IRL, the good shit, all right? Like back in the good old days, I highly suggest you check out my man Stick's channel. Oh, Super Hooper, definitely clip of the year. 100% hands down clip of the year. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see here. Oops, I got some other breaking news. Let's see. Wow. So somebody just sent me a screenshot. Breaking news. Looks like Ski Mask has lost another one of his close supporters. Uh, looks like the supporter by the name of Las Vegas says, and this is part of Ski, uh, Ski's chat. This was a screenshot coming from Ski's chat right now, okay? And it looks like Las Vegas had this to say. Hey, Ski, no hard feelings, but I can't support you anymore after what I heard come out of your mouth last night. I wish you the best, my guy. It was fun. Yeah, and I don't blame you, Vegas. Some nasty shit he said, man, you know, and uh, and, and that's why I, I replayed a lot of those threats because I know he deleted the video and I wanted a lot of people to hear what he said last night. So if a close supporter like that, I think can sit there and agree the same thing as I am, I, I think it says a lot, okay, to, you know, how bad it was and what Ski Mask said last night. And uh, if, if supporters think that's bad, Ski Mask, how do you think the sheriff's department and, like I said, the DA that already knows what type of scumbag you are is going to think when they listen to those videos, okay? And if you're sitting there thinking I'm full of shit, my man, I am not. I already said it last night. I will be there a few days before your hearing, and I will be there to walk right into that office, both offices, to hand over every single bit of evidence that I've collected since you've started these threats to myself and my family and many of the other creators and individuals you've made the threats to, okay? Now, what they decide to do with that is up to them. If they ask me to sign, if they ask me to come forward, if they ask me, hey, are you willing to come and press charges and come to a hearing next week? I will do whatever it takes to prosecute you to the fullest for everything you've done. All right. You are a piece of shit, man. And you sit there. And the funny thing is, this is just shows you what type of narcissistic scumbag this guy is. All right. He's still to this day right now after witnessing, you know, losing all his supporters witnessing him losing all his viewers, just witnessing the fact that he's a fucking low-cow. This guy still sits there acting, you know, with this tough guy act, all right, and still blames everybody except himself for everything that's happening right now. He blames everybody except himself for everything that's happening to him right now. Can you believe that bullshit? Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. But anywho, well, folks, uh, it is starting to get a little dark where I'm at. So uh, I love to take out my little doggos out for a walk before it gets too dark. Uh, I did want to come on and finish up some of the things that I forgot to go over last night. It's like I said, you guys got me super. Ex I mean, I, I, I won. I was dead. I mean, I, I was just dead tired from all that crab dancing. But uh, I, I'm not going to lie. I did get a little distracted from some of the items other items that I wanted to go over last night. So kudos to you guys. Thank you so much for your support from last night. 
Uh, let me get this off the screen. I'll go to full screen mode here. But um, I do want to say this. Uh, I know I said last night. How do I do this? Uh, oh, wait. Here we go. Uh, I was going to post this morning the poll uh, so that way we can finally crown a second winner this time for the caption contest. Okay. Uh, I did not have a chance yet. I had, remember, I don't know if I told some of you, but I, I was busy this whole weekend getting the, the, the lawn and outside yards ready for some guests we had come over the weekend. So I spent the day with some guests. Um, tomorrow morning, I will post that poll up. Okay. So I will not forget. Uh, we will declare a winner by tomorrow evening. Okay. Um, so I'll post that poll up. We're going to post the two most liked uh, captions. We already had a winner. Ni Hao officially was our first winner, but Ni Hao decided to hand the crown over to a runner up. So we're going to decide who our runner up is going to be. So I'm going to post those captions tomorrow as a poll, and you guys are going to decide who our winner is. And that is going to be the winner of our $20 cash prize. Um, and then, second, I did not also forget. For the jury members only, tomorrow morning when you wake up, you will have those documents that I promised you yesterday. All right? I'll just leave it at that. But tomorrow morning when you wake up, you will have those documents on the members only tab only that you will have access to tomorrow morning. Sometime tomorrow morning, okay? So I know some of you wake up like at 3, 4, 5. Not that early. I'm talking like 10 in the morning. Let's say like twelve. Let's say by noon. Eastern time, those documents will be available for you guys to check out. All right. Hey, did everybody have okay? Wait, stick. I wasn't reading what you said. I'm sorry. Now I'm I'm paying attention because I'm sure you already answered the chat. But for me, did you successfully wh where's the buoy? Have you gotten the buoy or or what's going on? Because uh it's gonna drive me nuts if I don't know the status of the buoy before I cut the stream. <laughs> hey hey thanks cameron i appreciate that i appreciate you guys all right well steph we'll listen in let's listen in let's listen in really quick somebody said steph lynn said listen in on his uh live stream right now and oh hold on wait a minute and i also did get some donations i need a shout out um hold on we just got Let's see here. We just got a donation from Deb. So, Deb, thank you so much. And that was a $15 cash app. And it says, for the trip to Ski's Court. So, thank you so much. Much appreciated, my friend. And for that, thank you, Deb, for that donation. Been a while since we had a gavel slam. Wake up, everybody. <laughs> Let me say thank you. And then I think, okay, I think we already said thank you to the to the to the PayPal donation, but let me just double check. Okay. And we had another anonymous donation. We had two of them. So I think I said thank you for the hey, thank you. You're welcome. Thank well. No, I'm saying thank you. And I was reading out your comment. Thank you, Deb J saying you're welcome. <laughs> but we did get an anonymous PayPal. We had got two of them. So we got a second one. And uh, that one just says anonymous and thank you so much. So I appreciate that PayPal donation. But let's jump over to Mr. Skiwi's chat here. Oh, and it looks like I think he's got the same picture. So let's let's take a guess here. I'm gonna guess when we turn him on, he's gonna be talking about either me or my mom. How much you want to bet? Let's see. Let me just make sure I got my Bluetooth linked up here. What are we connected to? Power on. Bluetooth pairing. Okay, pairing. Thank you for your Bluetooth patience. Connected. All right, so let's jump over to Mr. Skiwi. Mr. Nobody. Wife of some retired judge and lawyer, and she's wearing that dingy-ass, old-ass T-shirt. 
Oh, I was right, talking about Mama Quartz. My old wardrobe. Look at that old ass t-shirt. You can't get mom no better clothes than that bitch. Huh? Okay, now, are you listening to this guy? He's literally trying to talk about fashion. When this guy literally has to have clothes shipped to him and dressed up like a living sized Barbie doll by a bunch of weirdos. A Mexican Jew in an American flag cowboy hat living at home at 40 while his mom washes her adult diapers and hangs them out to dry. In the sun in the backyard. <clears throat> Chelsea Luka, says he's like, been doing it for 20 minutes. Golly, man. Like, he, like he has everything he's ever wanted. For. Could you, like I said, imagine like, waking up and this right is exactly what you go to. Like me, I'm about to end the stream, go enjoy the rest of my Sunday evening, hang out with my dogs, hang out with my family, go eat some dinner. <clears throat> this up, moron is going to be crying himself. Well, he doesn't go to bed because he's on the. No, no, <laughs> But he's going to sit here all night and all morning and make the same threats, right? And then wait. Never be me. Wait till about, what, a few days before I get to Tulsa, right? The day that I'm going to go and make my report to the police. And just wait. You're going to hear crickets, okay? So this is just the typical behavior you see of these shit talkers that literally sit behind a computer screen, behind a little telephone, and, and sit there and talk all this shit, right? But remember, when the day comes that, you know, the channel's there to provide court coverage, remember what happened the first time. It was crickets. It was a no-show. As a matter of fact, this guy lied so bad, he made us lie that he had COVID, which it was obvious he didn't, when he was literally on live stream that morning, okay? So... Same bullshit we heard, right? Then you get to the court coverage. This guy's literally running in like a little ninja trying to, you know, hide his way into the courtroom. Mr. Tough Guy, why don't you just walk in like the rest of everybody else? I mean, literally, he's not the first person we provided court coverage on. We've literally provided court coverage on two other individuals that have just walked into the same courtroom as this channel as everybody else walked into their, you know, their court, signed courtroom, sat down and just, you know, did their shit like everybody else. This guy is literally afraid to even just walk into that courtroom and be seen because he knows you're going to see the real him. Okay. Sad. Hanging up, mom, the dog diapers. I'm hanging. He's a coward. I'm hanging out with mom while she's hanging up her adult diapers. Oh man, and she had a poop. She had poop on her butt too. Hold on, where's that photo? I got a. Oh poop. my god! <laughs> Look at the photo right there in the bottom left. She got poop on her butt. Let's see, see, ski. Poop stain on her butt. I don't see it. Does anybody see the poop stain on her butt? So this is his entertainment Does tonight. Anybody see the poop stain on her bottom, on her on her left butt cheek? Yes or no? Press one of the. Chat. And you know what? I don't even see any more of the uh, crazies the there. Left. Even like laughing or on going, yeah, ski, yeah. Did you see a poop stain? Let's see. Did he just said if any ones. Let's see if any ones pop up. If you see a poop stain, because I see one bright as day, unless you want to try and describe it as something else. But I don't see any ones, on ski on mask. Butt. Do you guys see any ones? Uh, yeah. uh, nobody's agreeing with him. Stain. Oh my, I see a poop stain. Multiple fluids in bottom left. Uh, some adult undies. Is that going to be possible? Because <laughs> she got poop butt right now, and I don't think that nobody, not even, not even one of my enemies. Mother, yeah, I saw that too, to too. With defecation hanging off their butt cheek. Now I just don't, I don't agree with that. Oh, my you know what? There is that one that last crazy left. I lied, Bailey. Broadcast live on the internet. But you know what's sad though is Bailey, unfortunately, I think has some very serious issues. So I'm not going to say anything about that or speak on her behalf. But um, Bailey, if if you're watching at any point, please talk to a member of your family and show them exactly who you're watching because you need some help. And they're not going to allow you to watch this person. I know you're sneaking this. You're probably watching this individual like in a closet or somewhere because you know your caretakers aren't going to allow you to watch this individual. So 
But yeah, it looks like Bailey is the only the only person left. Whoa! I just heard. Hold on, let me shut this guy off for a second. See what anger does, ski mask. Anger just makes us more happier in this chat because we just got a twenty dollar cash app. Yes, you heard it right. A $20 cash app from our friend Anonymous. Anonymous. Thank you for that $20 cash app. And I'm sorry, folks. Yes, it's time to wake up. Thank you, Anonymous. <laughs> Much appreciated. Thank you for your support, Anonymous. Man. All right, let's go back to shithead. And we will gladly interrupt Shithead's live stream to say thank you to any other donations that may come through. <laughs> yeah, my cash app. I'm not getting no money. So this, this is no like, money. Really no see, here we go. Money. Here we go. Nobody likes him, but see, look at that photo right there. You see the poop butt? Hold Still on. talking about the poop butt. Move on, Ski. Dude, you're a moron. You see it? Tell me you don't see the poop butt. Come on. What is this? Oh, my. Yeah. Oh. Poop butt. Oh, the poop butt. Look at this one. Look at this guy. He's so mad that mama came out to use her own back door. Little bitch. Look at him. Do I look um, mad? Do I look upset? <laughs> What's your mom's current opinion on ski mask? I wonder how many times she's heard that name. <laughs> Every time you ask your mom about me. Imagine talking to your parents about me. He said his dad told him I was his favorite streamer. I ain't got nothing against her parents. I'm just bringing awareness to the fact that Mama Cortez poopy butt. And you are completely fine with that. Poopy butt. And you know he has those pictures saved in his album, right? Along with all those pictures of all those little kids. Next to all those pictures of him and, you know, his grinder profile pics. And his, um, what's that other website that he's on that, you know what he does? It's disgusting. It's sick, man. Do need some help. That's all I got to say. And that's the sad thing is, is nobody's there to tell him what he's doing is wrong or sick, okay? I mean, the guy is so delusional, even losing all his supporters and viewers, he's still sitting there saying the same shit. That's the really shitty part about this, okay? That's how far gone this individual is. Literally, he's had all his supporters gone, okay? Cash apps, done. And instead of figuring out, hey... What am I doing wrong, right? Because he obviously is never going to get a job. He said that, okay? He's going to be an entertainer the rest of his life, okay? All right, Mr. Entertainer. Well, what are you going to do now, okay? I mean, you're literally doing the same act, and everybody's sitting there going, bro, move on, man. Move on. We don't care. That just shows you how arrogant he is, plus how childish he is. He literally, he is a man baby, a man child. <laughs> and he's almost 40. That's fucking crazy. Excuse the F word, but it's, I'm serious. It's nuts. And that's the thing is, is like, I, I guess his parents must've gave up on him. I, that's the only thing I can figure out at this point, because the only people that are around him at this point are his parents. They're literally the last person that can throw him a lifesaver ring. You know what I mean? Um, and it doesn't seem like they give a shit. It's almost like they're just letting him drown in a cup of water and said, fuck him. And I don't blame him, but man, I mean, geez, it just sucks because in the meantime, while they're waiting for him to get locked up or karma to come, he's still making threats. He's still creating victims and he's doing a lot of bad shit. So I understand his parents don't want to be victims anymore. They're tired of him. But if they're going to continue to allow this individual to break the law, 
then they better not let them do it out of their house because they eventually can get in some trouble, okay? If this judge really starts pressing the parents, they can start getting in some trouble because they're essentially allowing him to commit all this shit in their house. They're allowing him to use their Wi-Fi, their electricity, okay? I mean, I don't know if some of you remembered when we read the police report and even Schemas talked about it a bit, but uh, when the cops actually came to serve the warrant, this was the second time they came over to Ski Mask House, okay? They already went over a first time. They knocked on there. Uh, he didn't answer, okay? He's screaming, Mom, Dad, don't answer. Don't answer. Don't answer. All right? They didn't answer, all right? I'm sure they were terrorized, okay? Because they're banging on the door, on the windows. So they went away, but they came back with a warrant, all right? They banged again. Boop, 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 boop. No answer, all right? Ski Mask even said that he begged his parents not to open the door. He begged them, and they didn't, all right? They shouldn't have listened to him because what happened next? The cops fucking battered down the door, okay? Boom, with the battering ram, all right? And guess who probably had to fix that door or who had to pay for that door to get fixed? Not Ski Mask. His dad or mom did. So imagine after going through all that bullshit, okay, getting pretty much embarrassed throughout the whole neighborhood because everybody already knows you're that dude's parents, okay? The one that has the cops at their house all the time. Now you have like, you know, these cops fucking breaking down your door in front of all the neighbors, okay? And then you have this scumbag just, you know, walking right back in after he gets out of jail, walking right through a broken door and doing the same shit. So they are the ones that are instigating this to some extent. Now, do I feel that they're being terrorized? Yes. Do I feel that they would want this to stop? Absolutely. Do I think they could do a better job? Yeah. But we can't speak for them, right? So, uh, yeah, exactly, Brandy. Like I said, I mean, imagine having to listen to this guy. You realize that they're literally like five to ten feet down the hall. Paper-thin walls, okay? This is just a simple rental. Like I said, this is a split house plan. It's it's like a split complex, okay? Essentially, it's like a regular-sized house split in half. One family lives on one half. The other family lives on the other half, okay? So you know that every day when you hear them screaming, okay, the pe neighbors can hear them. The people living right next door can hear them, okay? You don't think there's a room right next to them? Absolutely. His parents right down the hallway can hear him. I mean, those people just must be fed up. I could just imagine every day they have to go through this shit. And the sad thing is, is there's no hope, right? There's no, okay, in like a month, he's going to be gone. Or, okay, you know, in, in, in two weeks, they're going to pick him up. No, these people literally just have to sit there and wonder, man, when is the day that he's just going to be locked up? Otherwise, this is what we're going to die seeing, you know. They're going to have to put up with this shit till they take their last breath. And that sucks, okay? And that's not right for any parent to have to do that, all right? I mean, that's fucked up. And you would think, you know, you would think a son knowing that or realizing that he's doing this to his family would stop. No, this guy is a piece of shit. If he's willing to do this to his parents, you think he's going to care about anybody else? Absolutely not. But, and, hold on you guys want to make a bet okay so what we've been talking for about what 10 minutes and even before that he was already talking about the poop but um what another 10 minutes so he's been almost on this for 30 minutes we're gonna listen to him right now how much you want to bet he's still talking about it let's see Stars. Otherwise, I'm going to talk to him. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. I've seen him. Person, he's like he's like five foot tall and, and fat as fuck. Oh, oh, okay. We changed a little yeah, bit. Those are the poop tails. Oh no. Those Talked about. You said poop. Tails. She had to wipe herself up in the bottom left. If you can't tell, there's a giant poop patch right on her left butt cheek. See, we are still talking also, about the poop special, stuff. So. There you go. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, you. I don't know. You're blind or something. You can't see the big giant poop patch. Look at that. I'll put it in another. See, I put a filter on right there. So it it really pops. You see it? That filter right there. I don't know what it is, but it's. Yeah, it is, Kevin. Real pathetic. 
So there you go. So if you guys want to listen to the poop patch, poop patch theory for the next two hours and also some begging in between, obviously he has to beg, right? This is all for the money. Um, please feel free to tune into this scumbag as soon as we're done here. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> all right, you guys. Well, I am going to call it an evening. Like I said, I am going to walk the pooches out right now. Uh, I'm going to have a uh, some food, maybe another little soda pop before I call it a night. But I do want to say thank you to everybody that tuned in this evening. Uh, I know it's kind of a last minute uh, stream, but again, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Just kind of wanted to finish up some of the stuff that I didn't have a chance to, to finish up last night. And again, that was my fault. <laughs> Actually, kind of yours, all right? I blame you guys for making me doing all that crab dancing, all right? But uh, I'll, I'll take all the blame this time. But no joke, thank you guys so much for your support. I mean, it's been nuts the last few days, all the support that's came in. Again, all these donations that have been coming in are all going 100 back percent into the channel. Uh, they're all going to be obviously be used for this next trip coming up. July 31st, we'll be returning back to Tulsa, Oklahoma to continue the court coverage of the ski mask and the court hearing. Okay. Um, and we've got a lot of other things to discuss between now and then. Uh, we've got a lot of other people on our court coverage calendar uh, that we need to do updates on. So stay tuned for that. Um, like I said, we'll probably expect a midweek court coverage um, show to come on. But again, if there is any breaking news between now and then, I will break that for you. Um, maybe we'll even have a little walk and talk sometime between now and then. Who knows? But uh, keep your eyes out for your notifications. Keep an eye out tomorrow for that poll. Please, if you can, I would definitely appreciate your participation because I like to make this as fair as possible so that we can decide who our next winner is of the $20 cash prize for our caption contest. And then uh, also, jury members, mañana, keep your eye out for the jury members only um, documents that I'll be sharing with you. And then again, for everybody else that's not a member of the jury, uh, after a few days of the you know members getting to check out the documents, I'll eventually publicize those. That way everybody else can check them out, okay? We all on the same page. Like I said, I appreciate your guys' support this evening. Uh, tomorrow is Monday, so I hope you guys get a little rest tonight. Um, otherwise, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy your summer. A lot of people are on vacay, so fuck it. Tomorrow, Monday is like another Friday or Saturday, so enjoy. But uh, either way, stay safe. Head on a swivel. Check your six. And we'll see you on the next one, okay? So uh, take care. Love you guys. And NJ Courts, just tonight, but not officially, is out of here. And remember, best way to get a hold of me, if you want to say anything, say hi, bye, concerns, comments, hit that Instagram link, okay? Uh, you can find that on my main page. And on your way out, if you've enjoyed this live stream, I would really appreciate a thumbs up, please. All right. Thank you, guys. Take care. Hasta la vista. We'll see you in the next one, baby. Peace.